Thanks for all coming after a second night. Great. Go ahead, roll it. What do you see when you hear the word BAM? I bet you see Batman coming to save the day with a solid punch, but I see the Bozeman Art Museum. As you know, my name is Aaron Jones Graff, and I am chairman of the board for BAM. Um, but let me tell you a little bit about me so you understand why I'm so passionate about this. Like she said, I was born and raised in rural Montana uh, in the center of the state outside of Harleton on our ranch. And if you know anything about rural Montana or rural anywhere, you know that access to the arts is slim. There is probably not an art gallery. There is definitely not an art museum. And I had one art teacher from sixth through 12th grades. But like all children, I was a born artist and creating masterpieces like this one from before I can even remember. And I was nine years old when I started telling people that I wanted to be an artist when I grew up. And thanks to parents who did whatever they could to foster that love of art, that is what I, what I grew up to be. My earliest memory of visiting an art museum was the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art and seeing this Picasso painting. Well, I was a teenager and I was crying like a baby, like this little girl. And people were walking by looking at me very strangely and they just didn't understand how lucky they were to see a painting like this whenever they wanted. So here I am, instilling a love and appreciation of art with my own children as we make sure to go to galleries and art museums anywhere that we travel to. And actually, this day in Portland, my seven-year-old daughter at the time was really sad and disappointed. They didn't have Degas, one of uh, Degas' famous ballerinas on the wall. <laughs> but understanding artists and the history of what's happening at the time they paint is important. Like this painting by Spanish painter Francisco Goya, which uh, depicts uh, Napoleon and the French army coming into Spain and massacring the Spanish citizens uh, just to expand an empire. And this was painted in 1808. Also, Yellowstone National Park was affected by art. Uh, Thomas Moran, a famous painter at the time, was sent out here on a Washington, Washington DC funded uh, exploration trip. And he was tasked with painting scenes from the area, sending those back to DC and that helped designate it as our first national park. And if you take Monet and the Impressionists, for example, we all know about them, they created a complete uproar and anger within the art world because they were doing something different. Artists were taught a specific way to paint correctly, and this was something totally different. Uh, they pushed color and imagery forever, creating a domino effect for how people like me can paint now in the future. See, you don't have to be an art historian to know that this is funny. Even Mr. Bean has an appreciation for art of the past. And Mr. Bean also shows us that even if you've never been to an art museum, you can recognize famous paintings since art history is so ingrained in our pop culture. Art museums create a place for discussion, for dialogue, for reflection. They create a place for us in the present to connect with the people of the past. Uh, they also teach us about love, war, religion, controversy, beauty, and what is possible. Bozeman Art Museum already has 13 lectures on schedule for 2019, ranging in a variety of topics from appreciation of art to an evening with world-famous world horse sculptor Deborah Butterfield uh, to Native American art and what has affected their imagery. And those go between the library and Museum of the Rockies. We also put up pop-up exhibits that happen quickly and with excitement because we don't have a building. Uh, and these happen uh, so people in the community can come see the work that's on loan to us or that has been pledged to be in our permanent collection in the future, such as this pop-up exhibit we did uh, in downtown Bozeman a few years ago. Kids also shouldn't have to wait until they're a teenager to learn fine art skills. So with what started with us going into rural schools, we've expanded into homeschoolers, and now the Bozeman School District, and we created a six and 12 week art curriculum that our teachers this next year will be teaching over 1,200 kids for free. We also bring in nationally known artists, successful artists, to come teach workshops, and they teach in plain air, outdoor settings uh, or studio settings. And we brought in Carolyn Anderson, a Montana native uh, who is a really successful artist who rarely does workshops. She's highly sought after. And she came and brought people here from all over the US and Canada to take her workshop. But you may be skeptical if Bozeman can sustain an art museum that's alive and thriving and not desolate and dead. But every large town in Montana has an art museum. Miles City, Great Falls, Kalispell, Billings, Helena, 
Missoula has two, those darn grizzlies. <laughs> but let me tell you why Bozeman is the best place in the state and our region to have a world-class accredited art museum. Because this is Bozeman. We are lovers of art. We are involved in community. We do everything we can to expand our scope in culture. But I don't have to tell you that because this is you. You are the people dancing in the streets of Bozeman. We have film festivals that bring, bring people from near and far. And I know you all have been to an art walk in Bozeman. And it is jammed full of people shoulder to shoulder. Our galleries are high in number. And they display some of the best work of some of the top artists around the US. We have top-notch music, theater, and film festivals, too. So what will we look like? Will we be starting small? Probably so, but I really hope not this small. But what's so great about starting small is that, like children, if raised right, the room to grow is immense, and the possibilities are endless. I do know we will look something like this. We will have a vault with a permanent collection. We will have multiple galleries putting exhibitions in there that are traveling into our walls from far away. We will have classroom space teaching fine art skills to the young and the old. We will have lectures and docents and tours. This museum's gonna happen because of a community of people like us. This is my daughter. We will be keeping the love of art alive in our next generation like her that will have to carry on the legacy that we are creating. We'll be a place for the young and old to maintain and foster their natural born love of art. We will be the Bozeman Art Museum, and I look forward to seeing what we can build together. Thanks.